All right, guys, this may or may not be the last guest video. We'll see, but this one's from Spidey Win. Maybe this stuff isn't too loud. Requesting mobile suit team, move out. It's not bad, it's not bad. Spidey Wing, of course, painting his stuff in, well, his Isaac. His signature suit, by the way, in the colors of some version of the Enterprise. I'm not familiar with Star Trek, so he's going to have to tell you exactly which one this is based off of. Or maybe it's not. It could be a common Rider, Super Sentai or something of that nature, but I don't know any of that stuff. Also, I haven't seen the video yet first, so we'll, we'll see how it does. Oh, it's in the city, too. Okay, this is good and bad. The Isaac is, well, I believe it starts at 400, goes up to level... Two? I think it goes up to level 2. It's a level 2 support with zero long-range capability with difficulty stunning. Generally, how you want a support dive is you want a long-range sniper, flying damage and stuns from long-range, focusing high-value targets, you know, you know, you know the deal, and locking down enemy supports. That's generally what you want. This thing doesn't do that. Which gives it the niche of actually being useful in close-range maps or in the city maps like this. Isaac has a couple things going for it. One is detection capability. This thing has a wide area of effect, getting most of any map you're on, not the entire thing. Then it has this camera. It will spot targets for you. Any target spotted will take extra, well, extra damage, I forget exactly how much, for a certain period of time. Of course, the area of effect stun doesn't last as long, but hey, it is what it is. This thing also has stealth, by the way. Level 1 stealth. And what makes this thing cool is that it's a hard check. Sorry, not even a hard check. A hard counter for the Pixie. The thing about the Pixie is it has stealth. This thing completely nullifies that. I don't know if it has anti-stealth, but if you're pinging the area of effect spot as much as you can, chances are Pixie's not going to get to do anything. The biggest thing that Pixie has going for it is that it can't be seen and can attack with basically, basically impunity so long as you aren't on screen. This thing nullifies that entirely, so long as the enemy, sorry, cannot slow them, so long as the friendly teammates are, you know, looking around, the Pixie should never be able to touch it, ideally. Which makes Pixie a really hard pick at 400, just because of this thing exists. That was really bad move with the Marasai, I should have stunned it first, but the Marasai is using the Fadeen rifle, which cannot stun in one hit and cannot move while charging or firing or anything like that. I really didn't do a video on the Mars side, because I just don't believe it's white right. Or at least, I don't like the video right for at all. At all. But this isn't a video about the Mars side. If I can get a Mars side video, y'all will get it, but this isn't a Mars side video. That's, um... What am I, the Isaac. It's, its main gimmick is that it'll spot stealth suit. Meaning that things like the Pixie, the Jim Knight Secret Voss, the can't do shit. It basically makes them a dead pick. You're essentially fighting five against four. Or six against five is the case, maybe. That's essentially how strong it is against the Pixie. If your team's paying attention. <laughs> Once again, I have to add that asterisk. If your team's paying attention, which you never ever want to count on. But is what it is, but what it does have going for it is very, very high damage. While it can't stun all that well, its machine gun does really high fucking damage, especially if you can catch something that's knocked down, if you can catch something out in the open, which is a lot of open space right here. No way that guy can get away even if you're red. So you generally want to keep up with your team, you know? Maybe you just want to be just behind the first line, but not terribly far away. So you follow, you follow your team up, to the first team fight, you pop that super that super spot, and you're basically good to go. You basically just stay there. Alternatively, you can also go off to just the side. Uh, you know, I'm surprised managed to get that close. To be honest, I'm surprised managed to get that close. Or what I see people do on um, Arctic base is they'll be just to the side, like where the caves are, where you won't immediately think to go find them, and where they have. Some place they can hide being the cave itself. So it can actually be very hard to actually find these fuckers. And hard to get to them since obviously they're in an elevated position and it's hard to deal with elevation in this case. But this does have a fatal weakness. Like I said before, it can't provide long range stuns or target prioritization at long range. 
The reason you want a support is specifically for target prioritization at range. Because the thing is, if you're with a team that's paying attention, you don't need it. Like, uh, Drunk Zalkin goes on and on about how he doesn't like the thing, and I'm mostly on the same page as him. But I do think its high damage makes up for it. Yes, it checks the pixie, but if you're in a party, if you're with a team of people who are communicating, stealth should never ever be a problem if you guys are competent. If you're just like in ran, if you're just playing as randos, uh, stealth is extremely broken. But in any other situation, it's not so bad. But also, stealth is was disproportionately powerful on city maps like this, where there are lots of corners. You deal the mission's kind of poor. Plenty of places to hide. <laughs> oh, alright, past the three minute mark. I should have been paying more attention. I was just kind of rambling there. And I should remind you guys don't let the like buttons for. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. This will do build stun, and it, it does it at a decent ish speed, but. At a decent ish. So, one of the problems I've been noticing here. And this is kind of just a tip for Spidey. This is just a quick tip now that I'm kind of been paying attention to it. He's not paying very much attention to his minimap. And this is for all of you as well. Um, and this works for me, right? Your minimap is better than looking at the screen itself. The minimap provides more valuable information than your screen does. It's that bad. It's kind of like Battlefield 4 in that way, where you can basically... The only reason you ever look at the screen itself is to shoot a target, right? But in Battlefield, you know, you need to be accurate. In this game, not so much. At least with this thing in particular, you can kind of just shoot in the general direction of a target, and ASL deals the rest. You can kind of, like, if you're in a situation where you're firing for three seconds, you can spend one, tar one second looking at the target and two looking at the map. So as a general tip, you know, look at your map more. Pay greater attention to your map. That was not a bad move, by the way. Putting damage on him so that when the instant he got out of um, invincibility, it was good. Kind of another problem here is his super spot should also be up by now, so he should be using that. Yeah, Spidey goes can be kind of, well, at least when he was with us, kind of go on about how he doesn't feel good enough, and he's plenty good enough. He's our resident uh, support expert, so it's nice that, you know, someone doesn't have to play support more than you get. Right? It, it, it's nice having to not fill that slot. <laughs> it means Spidey gets bullied a lot, but we love him just all the same. But it's up to Spidey look at your map more, and remember to use your super spot more often. He's about to die here. I'm surprised he missed that shot. I'm also surprised there are no teammates here trying to deal with the ace. <laughs> I don't know why Spidey said sorry, that was his team's L, not his. Granted, maybe he should have studied closer to the team. But yeah, Spidey, be looking at your map more? I'm not sure if he's going to be seeing this. Look at your map more? And use your super spot more often. That's that's where the money is. That's more valuable than your machine gun. Your machine gun's very good. Your machine gun's very good, but the super spot and your spotting is more valuable. Because everybody does more damage. Not just you. Because all you have to do is you know, switch to your super spot, pop it, and then you go back to fire. It's not its not that much of a... You're not losing that much DPM. Matter of fact, you might even gain it. So... Shit, right there. 78,000 damage, 3 kills, 2. That's high scores in both, and assists as well he should. Really, the heavy gun had a lot of trouble. Which is kind of weird. They didn't really have anything to check it besides this... Uh, G-Line light right here. But... That was Spidey's game. Thank you for sending it in, Spidey. And this should be the last of the guest videos. So y'all remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you later.